Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm going to be showcasing some gameplay performance difference between running Borderlands 2 on Ubuntu 13.04 versus running it on Windows 8. Now on the left hand side is Ubuntu, on the right hand side is Windows. There are two major differences happening on the... Well, there's three really, but to put it into perspective, there's two. On the left hand side, we are running it using Crossover 12.5 while in Windows it is native, alright, so we have to take that into account. There is a middle layer working to get the game running in Ubuntu, while in Windows it's straight uh, communicating with Windows. Now right off the bat, in the first menu, to my surprise, Crossover is actually doing just a bit better than the Windows version. Now this could be because I am using Fraps for Windows and Simple Screen Recorder for Ubuntu, or it could be the game itself. Screen recorder will always be an issue, it will take frames away from the game regardless. Now in this menu, when there was uh, scenery in the background, the Windows version was slightly higher, with a good 3 to 5 frames per second difference. Getting into the game will hopefully be the point where we can really take a look at the difference. So both games start up with frames in the red and then bring themselves back up into the green. Windows definitely has a significantly higher frames per second right now a good 10 frames above and it's looking at about almost 20 frames higher now than the Ubuntu gameplay as you can see on the Ubuntu side it's in yellow which means that it's below par as I was playing on Ubuntu as well it did feel quite sluggish settings for Borderlands 2 is exactly the same in Ubuntu and in Windows I made sure that it's the same so that the frames per second can only be limited by either the OS, the middle layer which would be for Ubuntu, or the screen recorder. Now Simple Screen Recorder is a program that still is in inf infancy while Fraps is a much more mature program. So, But I'm hoping that the frames per second won't be affected too much by it. Now on the Windows side we saw it dip quite heavily in this point, I'm still not sure why. This dip is either the game itself or Fraps. I have a feeling that it was Fraps at that point though. In this menu, to my surprise, Crossover is actually smoother than the Windows version. The Windows version lags whenever I open this menu, but in Crossover it handles it perfectly. In actual gameplay though, we're seeing a good less than 10 frames or less than 20 frames than the Windows native version. However, it's likely that in the future, Crossover will be releasing a patch or a new version which has increased performance. Hopefully by then, performance in terms of frames per second as we're seeing here will be on par, or at least close to being on par. The fact that this is relatively a new game and that it can run at all is amazing to me. But I could definitely do with performance improvements on the crossover side. 20 frames difference is pretty painful to say the least since this is a GT GTX 680. However, the Windows version Performed quite underperformed quite severely. In my expectations with the 680, I expected higher frames per second. Now this is the original version of the game, in case you were wondering. Running through Steam in both cases. Both running at 1920 by 1080p. As soon as action starts kicking in, you can see the clear winner here is definitely the Windows side of things. But then again, the game is native in Windows, so that should be a no-brainer there. The game in Crossover, while not as... The, while the performance is not as good as Windows, it is playable. As I run through it, I can see myself playing it from beginning to end in Crossover 12.5. However, if you're running older hardware, you may struggle quite a lot. Ah. 
So on average, we can definitely see that on the Ubuntu side, we're getting good 25 frames per second, while on the Ubuntu side, it's anywhere from 45 frames to 50 frames per second. A good difference of 20 frames per second right now, but in future improvements, we may see that difference uh, become a whole lot less. So as I end this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Any mistakes that I have made or comments, please leave them down below. And please do help the Wine Project if you can. Thanks for watching.